like another vinyl mode. If you're going to do a push out, please do the same thing. Look at me and say push out so I can make your mouse, okay? If there's a little green symbol up there on the, on the board, that means you've got a timeout. Good available. morning, everyone, and welcome to the Alpha Las Vegas Women Open here in the Rio All Suites and Hotel, run by Predator and CSI. Our next match for today is a fantastic semi-final matchup between Meng Xiaohong, also known as Bean Hung, and Kristina Slateva. In the commentary booth for this match, we have another upcoming USA star, Eric Roberts, and myself, Tim de Ruiter. Hi, Eric. How are you today? I'm very good. Just uh, having fun with the day and excited for tomorrow. Yeah, because you just got a late entry in the World Tambo as well. I did. Looking to do as well as last year, hopefully. Hopefully. Just got to play my game, that's all. You got to the last 32, I yes. believe? Yes. So it's already a big feat. You are now 19 years old? Yep. So for 18 years old last year, getting to the last 32 in the World Championships is not bad. I never done it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Here we got Bean Hung. So we are playing a best of three sets, races to four. If we tie three each in the deciding set, then we go to the famous shootout. A little unlucky scratch there. Yeah, not, a, not a good start for me. So, first opportunity for Christina Slateva. Came up a little short on this two ball to yeah, start with. Just a little short. Um, I don't know what she's going to do with a three unless she, like, uh, puts a little bit of jaw stroke on it to get on the... Um, uh, yeah, on the top side of the yeah, three? Yeah, on the top side of the three. My bad. Not sure if she can get there. She's got quite some angle on this two. Easy. No doubt. That's a good recovery shot. And then this four ball. She might have to play for the short side of the four. Yeah. But then getting to the five ball is always a little tricky. She would have to go a little bit past the four ball just to, to get a shot on the five ball, I would say. Another option she might have is to shoot the four in the same corner so she can make a good position now for the four ball. And that's what it looks like she's doing. Good shot. Well, I was preferring the angle to the other side because now that side pocket does come into play and there's not much room to yeah, really get to the five ball. You think she's going to put it on a little bit of a stroke? Or no, she's playing no, the she's safety playing behind, safe. the behind the seven. That's probably a better way to do it instead Ooh. of what I was going to think. She also underhit that, so after that scratch on the break, it's been hung with another chance. difficult position we'll have to go for tougher cut on the five two rails to the center of the table oh well, she caught it and it's not bad not not terrible but I mean not the greatest shape no it's it's a difficult shot from here oh, yeah. she might have to go for the left corner oh she's lining up to go to the right side but then you're always gonna run into the ten yeah I was thinking to shoot to the top left corner and then maybe run into the six ball. Off the rail into the six. Yeah, yeah. She could also play safe behind the ten. That's possible. Yeah. Just it's not just a roll up though. You gotta yeah. stun it and oh. gotta control the five ball. Now she's thinking about the other corner now. Yeah, which you can play a little bit more pocket speed. She's not thinking about pocket speed. She's going to play stun right. Yeah, 
and usually jacked up with that spin that really turns into the ball so most of the time the shot is being missed too thick so a nervy start from both players oh yeah looks like the bank is on though yeah and you can play position for the six in the side she, she might honestly play for the bank right here play for the save it's probably the better option anyways well depending on how you feel of course well, yeah if she f would have felt really good from the beginning then the bank was probably nice yeah in this case she might feel a little under pressure I don't believe she's got this far yet in the probate series events Christina Sateva she's always around the last 16 quarterfinal but I'm not too sure about the semi-final yeah so what that is? bad safety from being hung. This leaves uh, Christina a good chance to just run out the rack and get the first rack done and over with. Yeah, this five ball key shot. Still got to kill the cue ball off the rail. It's not, I mean, I've seen people miss this ball. I know it's missable. Yeah, of course. But if you play the good, she's playing just center ball she's not going to kill the cue ball she's just only focusing on making the shot but then now has to play another good shot on the six that's probably the way i would have played it honestly just get behind the seven not not try to make it too hard Can she kill the cue ball or is she going? Yeah, one rail. I did like this better. short a little short right here she can still play four rails as long as she doesn't hit the 10 oh. yeah, nice shot That's a great shot right there did look a lot easier than it actually was because yeah. The scratch was there, and the bump on the 10 was there, and that would not be automatic position on the 9 ball at all. Looks like Christina's going to get the first game. Started off pretty good. Yeah, a little nervy starts from both players. Oh. Been back and forth, but now she's just came up with a couple good shots. goes so she takes the early lead Christina Slateva all the way from Bulgaria likes to play snooker as well and she's been playing a lot of men's events she's been playing Derby City oh really yeah wow yeah she's really putting time and money to keep progressing and that's good that's what it takes to get to the top level yeah you gotta push yourself out there otherwise you're never going to challenge yourself so breaking from the center of the table she usually does have a nice pop on the break
six ball didn't go and so you remember when? Yeah, it came up dry. It's so tough to break to the ball. I mean, every, almost every single rag is almost dry break. Most of the time. Yeah, there's a lot of tricks to it. That's a nice shot. Good safety right there. Yeah, nice cue ball control. Cold in the corner. Is he trying to find a gap in between the 7-6? Between the 2-7? This came up quite huh? difficult, actually, that one ball. Yeah. I might go in front of the side pocket with right spin and try to go two rails on the back. I think she's going to put a little bit of jaw before the six. That, because, I mean, if you hit before the six, then I feel like it's going to come long. See? Yeah, either force it a little bit more, more stun. Yeah. Or some draw, maybe, yeah. If she wanted to play this speed, some draw. But a difficult layout. It's not easy to get from the four to the five, and then from the five to the six could be a problem if you don't get near to straight shot. Three to the four might be difficult. Just a little bit difficult. Well, maybe not just a little bit. <laughs> she might, if she has an angle, she might be able to bump the nine ball now. Yeah. To more possibly. to the left, so you get some more room. I think she did have that angle. I mean, there's a nine, the five, to get in the way. She could go three rails now, to the, to the spot where the one Look, ball is wrecked. Looks like she's gonna put. Um, Possibly bottom left on it to come back into the middle of the table, get between the nine and the five. This looks this is what it looks like she's doing. Oh, that was, I think she's got too far. That was a little surprising right there. I didn't expect that. She was probably coming off of a side rail, coming back out to the middle of the table. Like past the nine ball. Well, she did put a lot of draw on it, so was she maybe not trying to go in between the five and the six and bump the five? That's what I'm wondering. Well, she's got the bank shot still on the four, so her run is not done yet. Mm. Doesn't go in, and now she has solved the puzzle for Christina Sateva. Oh, yeah. Soft stun towards the nine. Oh, she get it mm. to the other side. I think she, she does. Wow. So now she can float the five ball in, shoot the six in the top right corner, and just got to make sure she's not straight on the six. You need a yeah. small angle to stun off the rail, but shouldn't be too tough. Got it. I thought that was going to, like, no, I thought she overcut no it. <laughs> she did shoot it to the outside of the pocket, but still went in nicely and. Now again to the same corner, top spin. It's looking like the nerves are really like not uh, 
not there anymore after that first game, after a couple of like, little mistakes well, that she did? Most of the players, when they get their first game on the board, they really settle down because it gives them that little push, that little confidence, like, oh, oh, okay, I, ca I can do this. Yeah. And then they stop thinking about the score and the result, and they just start to play. It takes that little edge off. Oh, yeah. And it's looking to extend her lead here. There it goes, 2-0, Christina Slateva. Off the pretty, pretty good start. And we'll go to a short little break, but I promise we'll be right back. Welcome back here with the Alpha Women's Las Vegas Open. Christina Slateva had a good start in this match. She's up 2 0 and breaking in wreck number three. Oh, that one ball on the side. And she got it. No Third. shot on the two. Yeah, very open layout, not really difficult at all had she had any position on the two. And it's quite tough to push somewhere. I might push to the bottom right corner in this view, just because that's probably the toughest spot on the table with the two ball. Yeah, leave, leave your opponent a tough shot on two and then make it more difficult to run out. But then still, she will leave being a shot on the two ball. A good cue ball, nicely on the rail. This way, Bean will not be able to play just with draw and go to the short side of the three ball. Yeah. Just going jacked up, but this is extremely difficult. This is not really accurate to be jacked up like that. I would have probably just like let her handle it or just like shoot it a different way instead of I just thought jacked it was, up. I thought it was a low percentage shot to yeah. go for. I'd rather have someone else shoot it for the cash than I do. Yeah. Like it's I mean, it's, it's even lower of a percentage of uh, just being jacked up in general. Yeah. So does this still go in the side or is she cutting this to the corner, hopefully bumping the six? Oh, so, well, she's made the two and she scratched. Mm. She tried going for the, the shot that you said by in the six ball. But I think she tried to put that right spin on there to yeah. go into the six, and but especially with the, with the polished balls, the new yeah. cloth. It really turns when it hits the rail. Yeah, it, it, it bends pretty a good. little bit. Yeah. So ball in hand for Hung, and she really needs to get that first game on the board. I think that will settle her down a lot more. Yeah, for sure. Pretty easy open layout right here. She should be able to get this. Yeah, she can float the four ball in or stop shot either way. 
cut the five, come to the center of the table for the six. Just don't get straight on the six. Make sure you got an angle to get a little bit closer on the seven. Yeah. For most of the players, this is just routine. They just look over where do I want to be, and the shots themselves are not extremely tough. Oh, she yeah, kind of came up straight. Either straight in or in the, uh, the opposite side of the six where she didn't want to be. Now she, I mean, if she did get on the opposite side of the six, then she'll probably have to go like two rails. Well, it looks like she's really straight on this. And well, I'm playing the stop shot here, not because I want to, but because yeah. I think it's the only thing you can do. She wants to make it a little bit risky. She can always go two rails too, just to try to get closer to the seven. But doing the stop shot I th is I don't think just. I don't think she can play that two really? rails forward. That's a really small angle. It looks like she did it. Oh, she's going for it. Shoot the six in the outside of the pocket. See, I told you. Nice strike, but quite far from the seven. Not, not a comfortable distance, though. No. It's a lot less of an angle, though, if you would have stopped it, though. She is able to kill the cue ball. That's a good shot. From no, uh, two, two rails, rails yeah. out into the middle of the table. So why do you play this two rails and not one rail? Um, is there a reason for it? It's a lot more comfortable, I guess. Well, I believe that if you come off the second rail, you're always coming towards your next shot. Which means oh. if you under hit it or over hit it, you're always going to be guaranteed to be on the nine. Yeah. If you play one rail, you're crossing that positional area and that's usually where people get too short or too long and then miss the nine yeah. ball. I, I just went brain dead for a second, so. <laughs> the stop shot here or a little draw to the right side of the ten for the ten ball in the same corner. Uh, it was a little off angle. I didn't I don't know if I would have went for it well, like that. I f also, it looked like she put a little bit of spin on that. Yeah. And so that's to where she made the nine ball in the outside of the corner and lost the cue ball a bit. She still does have the cut. This is to open her account. And she got it. There it goes. 2-1. It was a little, little nervy. I feel like she didn't really have the cue ball under control that much. Yeah. She ran out of position maybe two or three times and had to shoot a tougher shot. But in the end, it doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you do it. As long as you made the 10 ball, that's all it counts. Predator Arcos two balls, the Predator Arrow Rack. My favorite view is the Predator Arena lights reflecting in the balls. Yeah. Yeah. Love those lights. I have a set of the Predator balls at my house. They play really well. So breaking from the center. Okay, quite some force into it that Abel was going to track towards the corner but got bumped and she has left another opportunity for Christina Sateva seven ball didn't go and that eight ball was going to go but found the four she gonna go she's gonna come uh, two rails just like that uh, what is it nine ball shot eight ball shot yeah the, the nine ball um, the eight ball in the last track yeah, yeah. Yeah, same thing. If you play this one rail, you can get difficult on the two. If you play two rails, I don't really see any problems go getting on the two ball. Yeah, of course. Such a big difference. So probably soft stun with a little right spin. She's going no, one she's, rail. She's going one rail. Probably because it's less touchy, but then I think she's got short on the two. 
She might just draw back uh, between the three and the side. Or it's either that or to play the short side on the three. And play for the, uh, the top right corner. Top right corner. She's drawing it. Mm. She didn't get enough of it, though. She would have had to hit that just a little bit more full uh, so she yeah. can get between the three and the side. Yeah, I was going to say she did make the two ball a little bit to the long rail, which, yeah, you make the angle bigger for the yeah. cue ball. So can she roll up on the eight or is she... She did mm. under hit that. But she made it difficult. So at least she made it difficult and not just leave her... Just a straight in shot on the three or. Yeah, ob object ball first. Yeah. And on the other side, this should not be a too difficult shot. You can shoot the three into the seven, bring the cue ball three rails behind the big wall of balls, the nine, ten, five, six. She's gonna have to, she's gonna have to hit it with a little bit of speed. Yeah, stun, make it stun right. She's gotta strike the ball. No. She decided to just have the seven and. I don't, mm. I don't know about that shot. Well, Very difficult either. and. She has left it on. That's a really touchy shot right there with just the um, how fast the tables are and how fast the rails are. Just extremely touchy. Well, it's not like this is a gimme. It looks like she's quite straight on this three ball. Or she might be just like a tad hook by the seven. So she might have to go rail first, possibly. Also, if she doesn't want to attack, maybe she has no future to get on the force. She could play the kick and stick. Oh, she wasn't hooked at all. But she knew she was not going to get on the four, so... I think she's going to make it. No, she's playing safe. Sorry, I get a little aggressive sometimes when I rap play. Y young <laughs> brains. Still learning. Yeah, you'll learn by experience. Oh. And I was wondering, that two-railer could have been a nice shot, though. Yeah. Did she call it? No, she has not. Well, technically, it was a bang. I did say bang. But she didn't call it. It was still a bang, And though. she hooked herself. I know. <laughs> <laughs> don't try and win this battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't really see any reason why Bean would shoot this five ball. No. She, I, I would just let her shoot it and then make her make the mistake take advantage of it well what what is she going to play if she cuts the five the cue ball is going to go to the other side of the she's ten probably, but she she's probably has gonna bring, to find the yeah, ten ball she's probably going to bring the five underneath the ten or at least try to yeah she but tried. it was just it, it was super tough yeah it was really touchy like several of the other shots that she's played already two safety shots here she can thin the five ball just push it over maybe half a diamond and Get the cue ball rolled up on the 10. She can also bank the 5 ball away and then roll up on the 10. She might just clip the 5. No, oh, Did she get it? Yeah, she oh, got yeah, it. Yeah, she got it. I figured she would have clipped the 5 and brought the cue ball up table and left the 5 underneath the, the 10 in the 6. Well, the good thing with this bank is she would get more distance with yeah. the 5 ball. Yeah. The other shot, I think, was a little bit easier to control. Yeah. So it's, yeah. Those are options you gotta think about. And they are under a 30 second shot clock, with both players have one extension, so. So Teva going airborne. Mm. Oh, yeah. Ball in hand for Bean Hung. I didn't fancy the, the jump that much, though. It was, ki it was quite close. And it was not just a really small edge yet to jump over. I I kind of like the jump shot right there. It's just uh, like with those closer jump shots, you gotta have that. You gotta have your wrist like, like a snap to it to really get it over whenever it's really close. And then it's it's difficult. So probably it'd be best just go for the kick for most people. Yeah, I don't think the kick was too difficult to hit as well. No, so no. So good opportunity for being hung to level the score to each. Yeah, 
might have to play for the eight in the bottom right corner. I don't really see her shooting the eight in the side. No. Or I don't expect her to. Doesn't want to get straight. I don't really like shooting any ball into the side on these tables. It's a, it's a little bit more difficult, in my opinion, on these tables to shoot in the side, especially like with a, just a little bit of speed, and then it will, it will just wobble out. So yeah, probably just best to stick to the corners. <laughs> well, she's got a small angle. We'll have to punch the cue ball out. Nice stroke. I don't think she could have done real, a lot better than this with the cue ball. No, not at all. She might play for the side, for the tempo, or either um, just try to I draw like, it. I like going three rails around to shoot the three tempo Three rails there. around. Yeah. You can play bucket speed, just like that. Yeah. The tempo in the bottom right corner. Good shot there. Good cue ball control. And yeah, we did not really expect her to come back, to be honest. Christian Sateva was looking good, and now has given Bean Hung the opportunities to level the score. So far, it's looking to be a good, pretty good, close match, good match. So. We'll go for a short little break. We'll be right back. Back here with the Alpha Women's Las Vegas Open, the semi-final, Christina Sateva and Bean Hung. With me in the booth still is young, upcoming star, junior player, or not anymore. Not He's anymore. 19 now. Eric Roberts. Oh, good break, and that six ball finally drops. And nice, good result, wow. makes a nine ball, one in front of the corner. Look at that six ball. It was really trying not that to go. That was a pretty good break. She got it in the middle of the table, the cue ball in the middle of the table like she should, and got a shot on the one ball. Yeah, just some traveling to do still. Yeah, a lot of ocean. Just a one to the two, and then to come back up for the three. Looks like she's got a little bit mm. high. Mm. I don't think she got on the two ball, so. What do you think she's going to do here? Safe. Well, yeah, but <laughs> like, where? Well, there's uh, different shots. I do like thinning the left side of the two and bring the cue ball four rails behind the five. Yeah. Um, she could stun the two ball over two rails and bring the cue ball behind the four. Yeah. Or is she going aggressive here? Oh, this is oh, well she wasn't trying to get to the point of the side bucket. Still works though. Yeah, so it's still a good shot, good cue ball control. She did not give me enough time to tell people option three. <laughs> what was option three? This. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was too late. Well, she did it for you then. Yeah, no, it's a good shot for sure. And she stays in control and she's putting. Sateva in a little awkward spot all the time. Oh, oh my look gosh. at this. Wow. What a shot. What a shot. And Beautiful she, shot. And she even called it. Wow. That's awesome. Without open the table is uh, 
she's gonna she's gonna probably take uh, take back control of the uh, of the match. She might have hooked herself behind the A ball right now. Yeah, yeah, she's she going. Wow. But sore when she was up to O, she could really get comfortable and nice strokes and Yeah. Oh, that cue ball? No, 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 no. No. Ooh. Stays up and she still has left a cut on the floor, but... Very difficult one. Yeah, shooting from that corner pocket is, yeah. of course, quite awkward. And, uh, and plus with how much distance is between the object and the cue ball. Well, the good thing is if you go for the corner and you just only miss it on the thick side, you're not really going to sell out. So yeah. you could even get that five ball into play. You go for the position on the other side of the five. Three seconds left. Oh. Mm. Not if you get this close. Yeah. So. I still like. She might have better just have played the safety behind yeah. the five. Just commit to one shot is always the best. But. I know. I know. I keep on saying how like almost there's so many shots that are so touchy. Huh? But I mean, it's just how fast these tables are, how slick these tables are. There, it's just so touchy with almost every single shot you play. And that one was definitely a really touchy shot to get behind the five. She is a little far on the five ball, but she can play with just a little left spin, go to the short side of the seven. No, she tried to go behind. I did not really feel uh -huh. to go around the seven ball, no. but she's she's got a good bump on the seven if she shoots this in the side. She'll have the eight in the same side pocket. She's definitely shooting this in the side for sure. If she doesn't like to play that speed, she can play it with double speed and bring the cue ball back up from the short rail. Good shot. Yeah, good recovery. A little wide, but mm -hmm. it goes in. It's such a big game as well to, to get on the hill for bow players. Oh, yeah. That miss would have been catastrophic. Yeah. A little stretching. And she got it. Yeah, she's got it, and she's on the hill first. Christina Sateva. She's now up three to two. Must be comfortable shooting like that. Yeah, nice, nice crowd here for this semi-final. Of course, we have the other semi-final going on as well on the TV table one for the pool fans out there that like to watch two matches at a time. Referee Dwayne Payne wrecked the balls. Christina is ready to break them. Wreck number six. Nice square hit, but nothing goes in. She's not hooked. She could get past, she could draw by, uh, by the five ball and have shape on the two ball in the corner. Yeah, I do like to be on the long rail though. If she can get close to the long rail, that guarantees the angle to get to the three. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, 
the other semi-final. Seo Seya won the first set, 4-1 over Silviana Lu from Indonesia. He got a little bit long on the on the two ball, but she should still be good. Well, to me, it doesn't matter if I'm long on the shot, as long as I have enough angle on the oh, shot. And I think she's yeah. a little straight as well. Yeah, she's got a small angle, but more difficult now to get on the three ball. Is it is that hard enough? I don't think so. She put up, she pulled off a nice stroke there, but she she hit a, the two ball a little too cool as well. She um, gives me she hit it off of the right side of the pocket, and yeah, well, I think she will go for the cut. It's still makeable. So it's difficult with low right. Difficult. Two rolls for the four on the side. I think yeah. I like that. Go between the four and the side, come over the side rail between the four and the nine, right? Yeah, I don't really see much else you can play in this three ball. It's a tough shot though, especially with playing spin. She hit what that a good. shot! Great shot. Got to get off the rail. Yeah, per perfect angle on the four. If she drops the foreign, runs the cue ball up a little bit for the five in the same side pocket. Yeah, we might have our first hill hill set of the day here. She's putting, she's jacking up just a little bit. You think she's gonna? Come up, uh, hit the five ball into the side, and come up the side rail, and two rail, well, one, two, and then three rail off of the side rail, back into the middle of the table for the six. Yeah, either three rails around, yeah, or three. she will play for the side pocket here, but. Yeah. Well, it looks like good speed. Looks like she's got a nice angle to just drop the cue ball in between the seven and the side pocket. Yeah. Just soft bump on the rail, make sure you got. Nice and straight. You don't want to have too much angle on the seven ball. No. You don't want to try to go on the uh, on the opposite side of the eight ball, with how like weird it is and how she has get left herself a little bit too much angle to get to the left side of the eight. Now she can still play to the right side of the eight, but then the ten ball comes into play. She will need yeah. to. Get way better than if she would have tried to get to the left side. Yeah. No, she decided to take the cut, and I not didn't, easy. I didn't really like think about that honestly. See, I'm learning stuff, man. I'm learning well, new stuff every day. It's not one of my favorite shots, especially with. You will have to play double speed to come up and down. Yeah. I'm not sure if she can hold or holding it is uncomfortable. So oh, with how fast these tables, I mean, you don't have to hit it that hard to get it back, like, up table. I mean. Yeah, you see, so making the eight wasn't the challenge. It was yeah. also getting, I would like to be back in the center of the table, yeah. and she's quite short on this. Maybe if she would have hit a little bit more speed, but I mean. And this what is up? quite a challenging shot. She's going to play for the short, short side of the 10 right here, since she already has an angle for it. I think. Yeah, she's missed it. Opportunity for Christina Slateva to close this set out. Yeah, and it's just, I don't really see this as a missed shot. I see this as a missed positional shot. Yeah. Because if she had been better on the 7 and draw back and get close on the 8, yeah. it was a lot more easy than how she played it this way. Well, at least uh, she didn't make it easy for Christina. It's still a tough shot to get back on the 10 ball. She's gonna play with top right. As long as she can stay away from the scratch. I think the scratch is close. But she's gonna have a thick contact, so the cue will push a little bit more through the ball. Yeah. 
I might just play this with low right. If I can avoid the side pocket and take a longer tempo. You just gotta be in the center of the table, low right. She might be reading your mind because uh, she's taking your advice. So. Yeah, this was the shot. I think this was the best she could have done from that position. Yeah, for sure. If uh, if she used top right on that, um, with all that speed, that would have uh, been a whole lot more difficult because it had to compensate just a little bit more for the speed and the English that you're putting on it. Yeah, this stumble to steal this set. There it goes. So Christina Sateva takes the first set for the two. Such a big momentum swing. She's taking a little break. And we'll go for a short break as well. We'll be right back with set number two. Welcome back to the Alpha Las Vegas Women's Open. Very interesting to see Christina Sateva went to go for a little break after she won that first set for two. Interesting to see that Bean Hung just stays in the arena. Most of the time both players leave the arena yeah. to kill the time a little bit. Well, And plus it doesn't, does it take a break out of there? Does it have to, well, I, I can't speak right now. But um, if she takes a break at the same time as your opponent, that then is, she doesn't have any break anymore. Does, oh, okay. So, but now okay, because okay. we're playing sets, I think you have a break every set. And I'm not sure. Okay. Because yesterday we've seen a lot of players go in between the sets, just get to the restroom or get some water, just to. Refreshing up, yeah, of course. especially when you have matches. Some of the matches they go like two hours, two and a half hours. Well, it's almost impossible to play pool at this high level without taking a break yeah, for two hours long or two and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice view from the Predator Apex nine foot table. We've got over 340 Predator seven foot tables in this building. Yeah, the people so far have been very pleased with the equipment. So how do you like the tables? They're not bad. I mean, I it's tough getting used to because of how slick they are. But I like them. Not bad. 
Just give me my honest opinion. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> no, that's what we want. I don't want you to tell me, oh, I love it, and then go to other people and go like, well, you know, mm. <laughs> that's not what I was going for. Yeah. Yeah, no, we've, I've had a lot of, I heard a lot of good stuff from the players. Yeah. The cloth isn't that super fast anymore. It slows down a little, little faster now, and yeah, most of the players, they... They seem also to be able to adjust to it now. Yeah. To where last year we really struggled with it was so super fast. Yeah. I couldn't hold a cue ball somewhere. Like I would just not know how to play position. Yeah, it was pretty difficult last year. Ch but yeah, ch changing the <laughs> game a lot. Yeah. So I'm glad that they really Im keep improving their products and yeah. The only thing that's like difficult for me to like really get a hang of is the sliding <coughs> and. It's it's tough because the sliding just slides so yeah, much. Well, you, us Europeans, most of the tournaments we have the new equipment anyway. It's a new cloth, so yeah. we have a lot of slide. Which in the USA, yeah, usually when I come over here, I play on really old cloth and worn out, yeah. and sometimes it's like super dirty and sticky, and it plays completely different. We really don't have that over here. Um, only for like the big major tournaments, like the U.S. Open and other stuff. But, um, like Derby City as well. But I mean, it gets dirty after a little bit in Derby City is because yeah. of how many people play on it. But then again, it's like new cloth. Second set. <laughs> yeah, completely different setup, of course. Trying to get it as professional as possible here, of course. Yeah, of course. So, Christina Sateva just got back from her break. She'll be starting in. The second set because Bean Hung had the first break in the first set. Oh wow, I forgot about that. Oh, Solid three, break. Ball, three ball goes in and mm, uh, ball does not away. get on the one, yeah. Mm. yeah nice, nice spread again if you look at how the, the balls opened up, it was nice. Just the two and the seven to get something. Or just a little bit close, but it shouldn't be hard to handle. Yeah. Well, the main thing is if it's just a battle on the one ball. If someone yeah. gets decent position on the one ball, they only make one good shot to get to the two, and from there it's wide open. It's not really a, a battle, a safety battle to be played. It's just a one ball. What would you do right here? She pushed to a difficult position. Yeah, she's going to bank it down table. I don't think I like this that much. There's a lot of room in between the eight, six, and the ten, yeah. where that ball can end up. And can I'm leave a big a fan of it. Window open to have a full shot in the window. I don't like much. The only thing I can see is maybe the opposite side. So the one ball on the long rail and the cue ball on the other long rail. She's giving back. Yeah, I, I do feel giving back was better. I don't think there is a strong move in this yeah. position. She's probably going to go for the same thing, just hit a bottom rail, bring the one ball back up table. Oh, is she going to try to play it soft and just play the cue ball behind the four? Oh, oh wow. she has played that. and. Oh, oh, it's a strong shot, there. yeah. Wow. Yeah, there, shot. there was. We probably didn't like it just because we knew where that one ball was most likely to end up. Yeah. If she did not get the hook behind the four. Mm -hmm. It would have been a so, uh, yeah, selling out position. Yeah. So, but she played a strong safety shot. What if she goes three rows behind the one ball and hit the one ball past the past the ten ball? And leave the cue ball down here. Well, I'd do rather think? go two rails. Two rails. Two rails and hit the inside of the one. Then it's always a separation. Oh yeah, yeah. I think it's a, it's a bigger margin to hit the ball on the left side in this case. Yeah, of course. Well, she's got it full in the face and. Oh, could have been worse. I mean, she she, she almost got away with it, she, but I mean, well, she hasn't left an open shot, no. so that's the the little luck coming in, of course. It's 
a good shot there. Yeah, some good safety plays so far from both players. Still a difficult shot, but I, what I think she's going to do is just hit the one ball, bank it back up table, and just leave a large open, well, large distance from the one ball to the cue ball. And well, I think that eight ball came into play very yeah. nicely. See, some, like I said, some good shots back and forth, at least making sure they're not selling out. Because, like I said, if one of the players gets an open opportunity on that one ball, they can get nicely on the two and be done. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, and... Good shot. Oh, yeah. She might have a sliver of the one ball. So... Yeah, but I don't think... It's nice to hit that little edge of the well, one. I mean, at least it's something. Instead of like just just having to kick at it. I mean, at least she could at least see it if she doesn't see any other options on the table. And then, well, there is a big scratch. Oh, yeah. And she's going to push the one ball in the open to the right side. She was able to hit more than we thought. Oh, given oh. the six? Oh. No. That would have been pretty nice to get behind the six right there in that situation. And now the challenge to get to that two ball, and she had has pushed that nine ball over to the left long rail. I thought the two ball was going to go up there, and now the two ball really doesn't go anywhere. Maybe Except in the bottom left corner? Yeah. She can make this with top right spin. A little slow. She's probably going to put the cue ball behind the four. Leave the two ball right there. Use the seven ball as a stopper. Or use it like that. Yeah, needed more stun to get the cue ball behind the four. Yeah. Not the greatest of saves, but still manageable. And it still makes it difficult for Christina to have any shot. I mean, the only shot that she has is the combo, but that's a difficult combo with how far the two and the nine are from each other. Well, if she can hit the left side of the two, she can bang the two up to the six ball and stun left, get the cue ball behind the five. Yeah. Maybe yeah. a little draw, not stun. Bottom. If she can hit that much from the left side of the two, I'm not sure if she I don't, can. I don't think she has enough because the seven ball looks like it's in the way. Oh, well, she's called the nine ball. Might yeah. be her only option. Is that what you would go for? If there is nothing else, then it's, it's go time. She's also under a shot clock, so it's not like you have plenty of time to find something else. And she got Oh, beautiful shot. Just... Ooh, that makes the five ball a little more difficult now, too. And the two ball, of course. But well, and she's also, she's left-handed, so she's not able to cut this two ball in really like, comfortable. Like we would when we were right-handed. And now she's playing right-handed, but... Oh, wow. Ooh. What a shot. Yeah, good shot. Not bad for switching hands. Yeah. You think the five ball goes in the side? Yeah, and the left. I think it will go in the left side pocket. Depends on how frozen it is with the eight. She got the hair off of that two ball, or yeah, two ball. Oh, this is a little slow. No. I think she's hooked herself. She has mm. hooked herself. If she kicks at it and kicks the, she might have to go two rails, but. No, no, she's going to put left-hand in English and kick at the five ball. 
Yeah, I, I mean, don't know if that, that was going to grab on this no, table. No, that's that's too difficult to grab on this table because of how much it slides. Especially coming off the rail at that like at that pace. Yeah, we will find out very shortly if that fireball did go to the side pocket. Without confidence she's going up there, then it definitely goes in. Yeah. To the six ball, nice angle. I think I would like to play just to the short side of the seven. Stun right, two rails. Yeah. I mean, I think either way is still good. As long as you don't like. Well, the the only thing I have is with the eight. You know, you, you don't want to run into the eight. And if you're trying yeah. to miss the eight, you gotta play with inside. The shot gets a little tougher, and you will get further on the seven ball than you can play here. She, the last second, figured out that. Mm. She jumped she up only, there. She only had eight seconds. She was yeah. like, "Oh, let me look at it." Oh wait, eight seconds, and she ran, <laughs> just in time. She got a little straight in though, but yeah, I mean, I think she'll still be fine. Follow up for the follow, eight in the side. Yeah, follow up for the eight in the side, or if she wants to go for the corner, I mean, she is possible. This is to draw first blood in this second set. Quite a defensive wreck, but Bean Hung takes it down. So she's up 1 0. been an interesting match so far. Yeah. Some good safety play. Looks like a lot of like ups and downs. Throughout. Yeah, but the, you can see like they're going back and forth in their safeties or yeah. trying not to leave each other a shot. It's quite successfully as well. I feel like the first set is um, just the safeties that Bing Hung made and then she um, didn't come away with it because uh, Christina just made a couple kick shots and then just got better leaves after the kick shots and oh. so on. She's made the three ball in the side and look at that one ball in front of the corner. Oh, the six ball. Yeah, well, the six ball is blocking the two ball to the yeah. bottom left corner, but I still think yeah, that two ball does go in the side. Oh, yeah. So. Would have been a bit one, one good positional shot on the, from the one to the two, and yeah. it's wide open after. I would just say it would have been a lot better if the six ball didn't get in yeah. the way. Yeah, well, that's, that's <laughs> how the game goes, you know. <laughs> oh, she put way too much spin on that. But she left her the combo. Yeah, it looks like she's straight the on the combo. Yeah. Might be a if, she, if she doesn't like the combo, she could draw into the five and bank the two ball back up table. She could. I like the combo. But the combo is straight. Yeah, yeah. The, but the more saying some people really don't like to play any combos. Well, then there was another shot. Well, She's risky. If she, yeah, I was going to say, if she caught that little thin, the two ball would move away. Yeah. She hit it good, though. I mean, if I have a straight in combo like that, I, I would have to shoot that. <laughs> But I mean, yeah. <laughs> She's probably gonna play for the four or five combo. No? No. Oh, no. She played the that. four on the side, yeah. I see a lot better when I run on the pool table. <laughs> I think we all do. Uh, you know, there's a lot of keyboard warriors that yeah. think they see a lot more in in the streams, oh. as always. Looks like you're calling them out. She's been starting to play pretty good though. Yeah. Some good shots and... She looks comfortable right now. Yeah, a lot more comfortable than in the first yeah. set. 
for sure. She's just going to slide down uh, along the side rail, just come back for the seven. Yeah, just be and aware not to get straight on the yeah. seven ball. That could be a little annoying. She, she wants to have an angle to come out two rails to the middle of the table for the eight ball in the corner. Is that what you would play? Oh, well, she looks like she got mm. quite straight and on the rail. That's, mm, that makes it 10 times more difficult yeah. now. Even though it might look straight in, it it's, makes it so much more difficult. You think she's going to play off the rail and then try to stay along the side rail, play the eight in the opposite corner uh, on the top left corner. Am I right? Is that the right? Top left corner. I believe you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, from this angle, you can see that there is a small angle, but then on being on the rail, forcing that cue ball out is difficult. She, she might like go rail first. I like rail first. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Rail first, play in the opposite corner. Yeah. Then, uh, well, she can still. Now this is like one of those shots, like like where. It's crazy how like the cue ball just lands in that one particular spot where it's just difficult for like anything, any shot. So, uh, and she kind of landed there, but well, I mean. It looks like she's playing low right. She doesn't want to shoot this in the top left. She's going top right and this is a difficult shot. Oh, wow. beautiful shot. Beautiful stroke. Yeah, very nicely played. Had the similar shot in the first set where she got super close to yeah. the 10 ball, but yeah. she struck this one a lot better. And this a is to take 2 0 lead. She's got the momentum with her, being hung. Good start. She's up 2 0 Great with start. Christina Sateva. We'll go for a short little break. Okay. We'll be right back. We are back here, the Alpha Las Vegas Women's Open. Bean Hung, it's up 2-0. It's breaking here to get on the hill. Good break again, and it looks, looks like she's got a nice result as well. Looks promising. I think she's just gonna draw past the eight ball, and yeah, that's what she's doing. Just draw past the eight ball. It looks like she got two. quite straight on the one, so yeah, she's just gotta play a little longer two ball probably. Yeah. Mm. Oh mm. yeah, she did under hit that, and well, I think she's just okay. If it looks like she's playing a little bit too full on the two ball, she could use just natural right spin the way to she's float it in. The way she's walking around the table, it looks like she can see the two ball easy, easily. So she's just going to draw back above the six and the ten for the four. Make it a lot easier, but then again, she could probably just get straight in. But she hit it really good, though. Yeah, good shot. Left herself a great angle on the four ball. Oh, 
was trying to go right-handed, but she's a little bit too short, so she swapped hands. I, I know that feeling. Yeah, me too. And then again, she felt like, well, I'd rather have a big angle and be long. Mm. I would have liked to stun the cue ball and go two rails yeah. to get a little closer and still get the angle. I would probably grab the bridge out instead of just trying to shoot the opposite hand. She did get a little bit short on time. So yeah. that could have been a little difficult. She she does have an extension though. And plus this is easy, like this is an open rag, so I don't think she would have like a problem with like using her extension. Oh well, she or still I mean, played a good shot here and she's not awkward queuing with the seven. It's a good recovery shot. draw maybe one diamond back and then shoot the eight in the side pocket I think that's the that's the thing to play she's not gonna draw it that much and then she's gonna come back to the middle of the table for the a ball in the corner that's that's probably the way I would have played it I would play it but oh yeah she can go low right it's just extra traveling if you float this in two rails you always trade yeah. on the eight I mean, she could always go, what, top left on it and come into that line, like like how you say, come into, yeah, line into the line. Yeah, into that side. positional area, yeah. Yeah, for the side pocket. Well, she's played a good shot and nicely on the eight ball. It looks like Bean Hung starting to play really good here. Yeah. She this looks really comfortable right now. Yeah, this is to get on the hill. She probably got all the nerves out uh, that first set after making a couple of mistakes, and then she's starting to really feel it now. Oh, 50 yard line. 49. Not ideal. Still has the opportunity to get on the hill, though. Definitely makeable. And oh, and there it goes. So, being on on the hill, 3-0, and looking really good, strong right good now. Good break and run. Looking really strong. If she keeps on breaking like that and shooting the way she is right now, she might just run away with us. Yeah, well, it will definitely be tough for Christina Sateva. Of course, she does have the little backup to have an extra set after this. Yeah, yeah of so course. So, in this case, if Sateva would lose his set, she can always tell herself, well, that was my backup, now let's go back to work, you know? Yeah, of course. This format uh, is definitely different. I, I didn't even get a chance to play on this format, but it's definitely different. It's exciting. It looks exciting. Makes a difference. Well, there's just so much more nerves involved in this format. With a race to nine or race to ten, there's only nerves when it goes hill hill or at the end. Yeah. Here, there's so much more nerves. Every shot is important. And well, she's made the three ball again and. No shot on the one. Stays in control though. Mm -hmm. uh, I expect her to cut the one ball into the nine and then bring the cue ball down to the top long rail in this view. I think I like that. I feel like if you do that, it, uh, I feel like uh, the one ball will kiss off the nine and then um, be weird. She might be going between the seven, nine, and five, or do that. It's probably a lot. Well, she has left the one ball on. Yeah. She would have liked to stun or draw that ball a little bit more. The one was going to stay there anyways if she hit it full on the seven. Yeah. And then play the cue ball behind the 10. Well, she did grab the jump cue, so yeah. it must not be ideal.
She's gonna play this one ball on the side. She thought about jumping it, but looks like she's able to play it on the side and then possibly come between the two and the four back for the two. Yeah, I do like this better, and she's yeah. got it, and she's got on the two. Good shot right there. And the other semifinal, Seo Seya is now up three to two and on the hill to get to the final. Oh, really? Wow. Team is a little bit straight in, but that doesn't matter since the four ball is right there. Just gonna stop it. And she's probably gonna just gonna draw back. Um, sort of like where the nine ball is, but obviously not get behind the nine, but. Well, yeah. I would like to leave myself more angle. Oh, yeah. I would just only draw back maybe half a diamond. Yeah. That's probably you gotta take the risk to run into the 6-8. Yeah. If you get too straight on the 5, then that's where usually you start to miss balls from. I was, I was hoping she would like come just like a little bit more in the middle of the table. and that, So she would be able to just draw back uh, for the 6 ball in the same corner as the 5. She's running into that six ball. Oh, needs a cue ball to go up and mm. yeah, a little short on speed. Yeah. This with more top spin would have been a great shot. I think she might she might play the uh, bank the six up table, get the cue ball between ten and eight or like leave it there. Well, she's got the hook and she has covered that left long rail, so there is only one shot here. Yeah, jump shot. The jump shot, yeah. It would have been, been a lot better if she would have got it like right on it, 10 ball, but. Yeah, but then still, I think this is it, also enough sometimes. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, you always play to, I'm, I'm sure she played to get yeah. stuck on that 10 ball, but sometimes if you don't feel it or the nerves, this is a difficult jump also to get on the seven. I think she might she's about get to away get fortunate, with it. yeah. Get away with it. Wow, well, she did. She got away with it. That's how pool goes sometimes. Yeah, kicking two rails here. Has a good chance to leave that six ball behind the eight or the ten. She's probably going to kick it in like she did that one shot. Well, oh. Oh. Yeah, so like close. I said, there was a good possibility to get this safe, and she's got it. She's going to play for the kick shot in the corner, the same corner that Christina called for. Yeah, I wouldn't kick this too hard, though, because then you have the chance to yeah. Get the opponent behind the eight as well. She's gonna have to play for the bend um, on this kick shot, and I think that's what she, she's doing because she's hitting it a little bit short. On the tables I play on, with how like like dirty they are, that would play like ten times shorter. So she's gonna play with a little bit of right English, play for the long. See. Ooh. Oh. And. I think she's left the six ball on. Just one good shot, top right spin. Can play us with a comfortable speed to slide the ball in. Good shot. Christina. Mm. I didn't expect her to do that. I think it's still okay. She oh. will go one rail close to the to the spot. Yeah. Looks 
Looks like Christine's going to get on the board this set. Well, it's still a long way, but... It's possible. Why not? That's Very possible. It's a good thing about this format. It's never over till it's over. 3-1. Closing the gap a little bit. We'll be right back after a short break. Welcome back. Scores 3 1 for Bin Hung. Still a chance for Christina Sateva. She's breaking rank number five. And she's made the four. She's going to get on the one ball. She's made three balls on the break. She's gonna follow it or like stun it. Two rails come back out for the. I, d I do like to play the top side of the two ball here. If you go two rails, <laughs> do like to go two rails. Guarantee yourself to get the angle to the short side of the three. I think if you stun, it's too easy to get on the right side of the two ball. She might play just like. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Ooh, doesn't want to be on the rail. She could have possibly played it. Um, hit the cue ball off of the top rail, pass the nine, and that leave her an angle for the corner. No, I did, I did like to bump the second rail and be off and have a guaranteed angle. On the yeah. Two. She still got the angle, though. It's just that she got on the rail, and it's a little awkward. Checked up and needs Ooh. a ball. Oh. Oh. Yeah, needs a good bump there and she caught it head on. So safety time here. Good shot. Yeah, good shot. And also very good speed. Look at how the cue ball ended up. Oh, and it looks like Seo Seya. That's just Found herself a spot to the finals. Oh, wow. She's beaten Silviana Lu 2 0 in sets. That's awesome. Yeah, still good tournament for Silviana Lu, who beat Kelly Fisher in the round before Jasmine Ocean. Wow. So that's quite, quite the. Good track record. Yeah. Quite the feeling. Oh, she's missed it. Ball in hand, five balls on the table, and if Christina can run this out. I believe there will be more pressure on Bean at some point because you you can feel th your opponent is is like coming back right behind you. Yeah, you know, like it, it's it's coming. He's going to play for a five in the side. And 
she got a little bit straight, but I feel oh, like she'll okay. be still fine. She can float the ball in. Automatic have an angle on the eight. sure if she I think she has to play one real position here I would go for the center of the table just guaranteeing myself enough angle to move around don't want to get too straight she's probably going uh, she got a little straighter but it's still okay she can play with top spin drop down one rail she can play with top spin inside yeah to go two rails to stay off the rail top left A good shot. Nicely done, and this stem ball to make this set a close one. She's got to make sure that her nerves are in check, and she's good, especially whenever it comes to shooting ten balls. And oh, it goes straight in the hole. Looks Three like she's two. pretty good at that. <laughs> yeah, but it's not. I don't feel like she was playing bad in the second set. No, no. Of it's just that Bean started to make a ball on the break and yeah. run out and, and get some rhythm going on so no and that's that's the thing with this set with this set system with the winner break is that sometimes you feel like you're playing really well but you still got to get a chance to the table yeah no, and that's sometimes difficult but there's no reason why Slateva would be in her chair and be like well this this sucks oh, I'm down yeah. and no, there's no reason to it. She's been playing good. Oh, yeah, of course. I was never trying to say that whatsoever. <laughs> no, 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 but more <laughs> saying, like, a lot of players, they sometimes have the feeling that because they lose, they play bad. Yeah. Which is definitely not true at all. No. And she'll be breaking next, so... She already had a good break, but unfortunately couldn't get to the three ball. Still won the rack, and now... Break a run would be three each. Yeah. We'll be looking to make the four ball on the side. Four doesn't go, the five ball doesn't go, maybe no. Oh. It's a dry break. Well, at least the the one ball is uh difficult right now with the uh, with the nine ball coming up right up on the on the one ball but I mean she Christina would would have definitely liked to still be on the table to have control and yeah I like what Bean is looking at she's trying to go one rail behind the six eight ten between the three and the five Oh. She tried for it. Man, she's left that yeah. one ball on with the angle to get to the two ball. Yeah. And I caught that a little bit too thin. It was sensitive though with the jack up. You really had to judge the the stun because you didn't want to draw too much and run into the five ball, so tough shot. Asking the referee to clean the cue ball now. Well, it's a difficult shot on the one. I think I might go to the left long rail, stun left, just in front of the five ball, and then drop down. Just like that, she's hit that good. Great shot right there. She hit that very good. Oh, Just don't no, get no, behind no, the no, 10 no, ball. No, 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 no. Oh. Wow. That's so unfortunate. She hit that ball really well. Yeah, had the perfect line. Just that speed right here. And now it falls right under the 10 ball. Mm. She might kick this in like she did earlier. Yeah. I mean, 
She is going to try to hit the outside, and it's closer to the rail, so that gives you a little buffer. There it is. Oh, the, oh. Mm, oh wow. it's st still an okay result, though, on yes, the, still on okay. the two It's not like she sells out. That would have been awesome, though. If she yeah, had made the kick. <laughs> 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 it's always awesome whenever you make make a kick shot. Oh, just those, out of nowhere. Those, those highlight shots are, of course, they're fun to watch because oh, yeah. they're most of the times it's just one of a kind. Yeah, for sure. If you want to play the two ball off the three and well, get it behind the stack of the balls, but yeah. she didn't hit mm. that three ball full, so the two ball didn't stay and. She has not left the two ball on though, so could be worse, but could also be better. Yeah. Well, That's a great shot right there. Has left a little edge of the two ball, but you know, it, you just buy yourself time every time you at least hit it and you don't sell out, so you don't yeah. leave the, the ball in front of the pocket or quite easy to make. Then you just buy yourself a little more time and hopefully you get that first chance. Oh, she's found the gap between the 6 8 with the two. And wow. Was she playing that? I don't, I don't think don't she was playing the two ball like that, but uh, she might have been playing the cue ball. Yeah. To, she, could, she could have played the bump on the four with the cue ball. Yeah. Is that a hand shoe? Jump cue? Kind of looks like it. Then again, not really left much on this two ball, so another safety. The cue ball trying to get at least a six, eight, seven in between there. And I think Christina might be able to thin the ball again. There's a scratch though, you catch a little bit too thick. Oh, she what played it good. Very strong shot. Slow down. Well, even if she has left a small thin shot on over the right side, there's not really an escape because yeah, of where no. the three ball is. So, can she, yeah, mess it around, try to hit it thick, bang the two ball out, maybe get the cue ball to bump the three. Oh, she got the double kiss. Now sending the two ball up table with inside spin, trying to get that cue ball with the eight or the six. No, no inside spin, she played for hmm. behind the 10 oh. and I think she's got it. Yeah, I think she's got it. But has left the kick from the back on the two. I might have to call the five ball. Beautiful. A long safety battle here, which will only increase the nerves, of course, because the player that gets the first opportunity has been quite cold, you know, just yeah. by bumping the balls around. You know, it's not like you can get to get that stroke out. Yeah. And it's a big game, three each or four two. What a shot. Oh, she has left <coughs> the jump shot. Yeah, she got the jump cue out. She 
He's going airborne. Oh, wow. she's cut that too thin. And oh, how has she left that two ball there? Mm. That's probably the worst spot on the pool table. Bank it. Sorry, I'm from Tennessee. I like banking, okay? Yeah, but it's not the right shot. She's Probably most not. likely to bank that two ball over to behind the seven and bring the cue ball behind the 310. Yeah, good shot. And now I'm wondering, did she leave a 2-7? No. Yeah, strong shot there. I think this was a better shot than the bank. Oh, obviously. I was just kidding. Yeah, oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <You should've. laughs> she can still go over that top long rail. Is her only route to get to the two ball. We'll play this with a little speed to get the cue ball back down table. She's played oh. it soft. and I think she was trying to play for the five. You think so? Kind of look like it. It would be a little all in though to play it like that and she's left the shot on the two. I feel like Epp and Ray is big shot right there. And this is to get on the hill. Yeah. Hill hill on the second set. Mm. That's still good. Yeah, I would have liked to maybe be a little closer to yeah. the three, but at this point it's just important to have a good angle to at least be able to move the cue ball around. Yeah, of course. You can go top spin, two rails around the nine ball. Did end up on the rail, but she's got she's got an okay angle on the four ball. She's still fine. The five ball is still is in front of the side pocket, so I I think she's still fine. Not sure if she can draw back for the six in the bottom left corner, so she might have to play for the six ball in the right side pocket. Oh, she hit that a little firm. Oh, this is a difficult cut. Still go to the top right corner. Oh no, and well, what is she giving Bean Hung? Did she get fortunate there? Did it get to the short rail? I think it did. Yeah. So back cut, a lot of spin, make it and run into the seven ball. Just like that and needs the bump. And she got it. She got it to the point where she could make it. Yeah, this is to win second set. And then we'll go to the deciding set. Oh. The oh. yard line. Well. This set is still not over yet. Yeah, this is very tricky. Mm. I put a little poke on that. She yeah. didn't really stroke the ball much. You yeah. can tell the nerves are really like getting to Well, you could right see now. it on her face too. Yeah. Like deep breathing and 
It's a difficult shot. Needs one more good shot to be able to win the set. Oh, she played safe and did she? Yeah. Oh, that Abel has to stop. That Abel. Mm. Oh, she played a good cue ball, but is that it, eight ball is. This is a makeable kick right here. Yeah. Make definitely makeable. Oh, I think oh, she's made oh. it. Wow. Oh, wow, what a shot. Well, now the shot after a good shot is the toughest one in pool, right? Yep. Because look sure at this from the nine ball. Oh, <laughs> Lord. At least it's him. It kind of looks like the 10 ball is blocking the way of the cue ball going into the corner. So no, there, there's no. no scratch on this. I feel yeah. like she can at least get to the short rail first. Oh, and two rails, and she's got perfect on the tempo. Perfect. Shape. It's an even wow. better shot than the eight, the kicking the eight in. What yeah. a shot! Wow, what a shot! Hill, oh. hill, 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 hill! Wow, these are such, best kind of sets. Such an out there! Wow. Be right back to a short break. Okay. Stay tuned, guys. One minute break, We are back here at the Women's Open Las Vegas. It's Hill Hill. Christina to break after such a brilliant run out earlier. And that seven ball goes in, the one ball striking one to ball. the corner, and I think. The four ball might be. Oh, no, I think she's wide open here. Nice square hit on the one. Oh, yeah. Oof. Kick and stick. Such, such a good layout as well. Kick and stick. Yeah. Kicking from the top short rail, sending the one ball down table. Oh, okay. I didn't expect that. I mean, she she did have a sliver of it. So, but I do like the shot. It's just that. Probably a little bit more speed. Yeah, yeah, bring the cue ball back yeah. all the way down table. Behind the three, eight, ten, five, right there. That's like a big wall right uh, there. The, the good thing is, is the bean is not going to go for the cut. There's no, no future on getting on the two ball. Yeah. She can play the kick and stick now. Playing the kill behind the four and Ooh. brilliant shot. Hit it off of the point. <laughs> so one real kick, and if you go straight into that one ball. I believe there is quite some good stuff that can happen. There's four balls around the one. So you don't have to really kick it too hard, just medium speed. Yeah. Trying to catch 
probably the, the inside of the one, the left side. Good hit and fortunate. Oh, there you got it. Yeah. Well, is is it really fortunate or did she just kick with a really good speed? I th I think it's the second one. I don't think it's really that fortunate. She hit it great. Sending the one up table. Cue ball is a little slow to get behind the six. She could probably cut the one ball in and use the four ball as a as a stopper. Yeah. To keep her on the two. Yeah, if she wants to go aggressive, if she feels like, hey, I was 3-0 down in this set, let's go, let, you know, let's just go for it, then I would definitely recommend doing that. Yeah. If she does feel the nerves a little bit, I don't mind overcutting the one ball and getting the cue ball all the way back down. Or doing that. She got full cover. And yes, she did. We're always thinking aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but that's what I'm saying. It's completely different. We don't feel how they're feeling in the arena. Yeah. We can only think in two options, offensive and de defensive. Yeah, of course. She's got the jump cue out. Then again, she's found cover. short rail good hit but she's left the one ball on and she has pushed the three ball up table so now the one two three and the four are at the same side which makes it a lot easier oh obviously. yeah for sure with inside to go to the left side of the three can also play the bump on the nine and just play center ball I think that's what she was trying to do was the bump on the nine but well, she did get more cut than this three ball that's for sure yeah that's what that's what it kind of looked like the bump on the nine but I'd probably just played it like coming back out to the middle of the table or so and then just coming back out straight. And having the well, I'm not holding the cue ball here. I'm going around the angles. Oh, no. and that eight ball. Is that eight ball going to come oh into play? No. Oh, wow. wow. So unlucky, actually, because it's, it was the only spot which could have been trouble. Yeah. That's so unfortunate. Is there? She hit that ball pier too. Yeah, she, she, she it was a good, good stroke. Just the speed, just the speed, and she can still kick it one reel. But I expect her to kick this with quite some speed. Yeah. Because if you hit it soft, then if you don't make it, you're gonna leave the four in the open. She's no. missed it. Well, this is the opportunity for Christina Slateva to play herself into a final.
Oh, she's hit that too far. Oh. She still got the cut on the five, but. Still got the cut, but that's definitely not what she wanted. Oh, she can cut the five and run the cue ball into the eight. Yeah, true. To use the eight as a blocker, but. Oh, this is far from ideal. She's caught it too thick. Wow. She was trying to hold the cue ball. I think her nerves, the nerves got to her. Because whenever you have like a run out to win the whole match, and that's whenever the nerves like really hit you. Well, especially with how she was down 3 0 in the second set. Yeah. Such a big turnaround, you know? And oh, well, Bean got a little stray on this six ball, too. Of course, both ladies are aware of the situation. They both know this is a very important rack. Yeah. Oh, and she's got in between on this eight. Expected to go to the side, with left spin. She still also has to do some work from the nine to the ten ball though, yeah. so especially with the nerves going on, this is not easy at all. Nicely done, she but she did in. get really straight on the nine, and she might be this straight to where if she draws back, she she comes she towards the ten. She gets towards the ten, and that's yeah. quite quite risky. Mm. She cheat the bucket a little bit, maybe. Oh, and this is short. Oh. This is really short on the oh. temple. Is he going to cut it or? Well, it did look like she was going to go for the cut. This is to go to the deciding set. And it's in. Wow. Wow, oh what a gut shot on the tempo. Wow. Oh, such a big shot from Bean Hung. And Christina Zoteva will not be happy. She was so close to be in the finals. Crowd is loving it. They w definitely want to see more. Third set. Break. Yeah. So now in this third set, if we go three each, we'll go to a deciding shootout. Being to break. Did not manage to oh. get the balls going to the side and but the seven ball was about to go in. Oh and that one ball is in the open. And now we will have to see how did how did Christina recover from not running out in that last track? Is it going to break her down a little bit or is she able to say, Well, it's a new set, come on, let's get it back together. two ball. She definitely didn't want that. Well, she's called the bank. Maybe a little bit aggressive. Maybe she's taking my advice now. Going for the bank. And the banks are oh. always open. Yeah, good shot. Now, here's the tricky part. Getting from the three to the four. I guess the 10, 10 is a little bit close to the 
four. So if you come on to the opposite side of the four, where the ten ball is, then that's just difficult. But she's going to have to try to stay on the the short side with the uh, where the four is. Well, she's got a small angle to the left. I'd rather draw too far and not have a shot on the floor but be able to have a look at it. I don't think that huh? ball, ball does go from there, right? She's going to bank it again. Well, or she's playing the safety behind the 10 ball. Yeah. That's probably what she's doing. Safety behind the 10 ball. She did. They play a good speed there. Having two balls in between usually takes away the jump. In this case, there is still the jump, but then you got to jump two balls at the same time. And most of the time, the cue ball will be, will be jumping in the air after contacting the four, because there's still the air. It's hopping. Yeah. It's not when it lands, it just starts to that straight roll through. Oh. Wow. <laughs> what a shot. Well, the cue ball was jumping quite a bit, but she's hit it straight in the hole. And a good result. I think she's on the 5-7 combo. She made the 5-7 combo and has good shape on the 5 to get to the 6. Possibly in the same corner or possibly just roll up for the 6 in the side. <coughs> Play for the 6 in the corner. Oh, a little too much did. speed. Yeah, did run a little bit too far. I think she'll still be good though. She's gonna have to like roll up for the eight in the side. <coughs> yeah, good shot and of course the momentum is with being hung at the moment. For sure. You know, most of the time when you feel like you should have been out of the tournament, that's where most of the time people start to care a little less and start to free roll. like Ming Hong is going to take a one nothing lead in this final set. She's looking strong right now with the way she's comfortable comfortably walking around the table. I can't speak. <laughs> but um she's looking comfortable. So comfortable and confident right now, especially after that jump shot that she made. Yeah, that was a great shot for sure. It was a very difficult jump and well I think Christina could be in trouble here. Possibly. I mean, then again we gotta think about on the second set, she was down three zero and she did come back, make a hill hill on the second set. So it's very well possible in the third set that she could come back. Well, it goes with momentum anyways. We've seen so many close matches to where most of them, they win two games and then they make a small mistake or a yeah. dry break and then the other player wins one or two racks. So the matches, they get close just because of momentum. Oh, yeah. It's all about momentum in winner breaks type of matches. It's all about momentum. Oh, making the four. 
and the seven in the side. And is she? Mm. I think she's on for the one ball. Is it? She didn't look too happy, but she might still be able to make it. to get the cue ball behind the 6-5. This is 6 five. Yeah, Big if she shot. had caught it thicker, she could have been behind the 5, so I was not sure how thick she was going oh, to play. Okay. She played a good speed, cue ball on the rail, and at least the distance, you know, at least... Distance is, like, key on these tables because it's difficult. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, very okay. difficult. Yeah, I mean, not, no matter what table just, it is. Yeah, just everywhere nowadays. Everyone's safety play is getting so strong because they know how to create the distance. And oh, well, ball in hand for Bean Hung. I don't think she really thought about the uh, the bend whenever you kick on that shot. Well, the angle was quite wide as well. So yeah. the, sh the shorter the angle is, the less slide there is with the table as well. Yeah. So this looked like it was an easy one railer, but in fact, it's not at all. And Bean is starting to play with that same rhythm again, like we've seen earlier. Till 3-0 last set, she was yeah. doing the same thing. Just when I said it, she stopped running around the table and <laughs> took an extra time. <laughs> now, but don't be jinxing her. <laughs> well, there was no jinxing in trying to make the three ball. There's still a lot left. Yeah, two rail position to the center of the table. I think she's just gonna go one rail. No. Two real position. Oh, hit it a little soft. And she's, st she's still on the cut though. I didn't even see her like where her tip was on the cue ball. So. Whoops, my bad. She can cut the six ball and then she needs to get to the center of the table anyway. So just center ball, maybe a hair of inside. Go two rails to the center of the table. Just gotta watch the time. She played with a little outside, but still done a good job. Left a good angle on the eight. Now again, don't try to get perfect on that nine ball. I would drop this in with top right and go long reel, long reel, just in front of the side pockets. You don't have to get to the other side of the table. Oh, she's hit that a little soft. Get off the rail. That's, that's what she wanted, just to get off the rail just a little bit. Wow. A little bit more did than she, that. Did she get straight on the nine or at least the angle to going to go to the long rail? I think she got it to where she could get to the long rail. Because then at least she can stroke the ball with yeah. some comfortable speed. If she's dead straight, she will have to roll the ball really scary, and that's where usually the mistakes come from. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, she's uh, checking up. Why? Not sure why. Oh, straight in. But I mean Still, I would go. You had to float it in, sensitive. Tried to play the stun run, and once she's got the close to the same cut as she played just last set. But yeah, you can see there is quite some pressure. <laughs> she knows it's an important shot. We're getting to the business end of this match and the tournament, of course. It's quite a nice paycheck. Got 
got it. What a shot. Yeah, 2 0. And needs only one more rack to guarantee herself the shootout. She's sure, not. she's not playing for just a shootout. No, absolutely not. She wants to win the, win the whole set. We'll go for a short one minute break. But stay with us. back here from the Rio All Suites and Hotel with the Alpha Las Vegas Women's Open. Been hung up 2-0. He's ready to break the balls in rack number three. Making the seven ball and the two ball. And she's on the one ball. Yeah. Just a 5-9. The 5-9 a little tricky. Just like just a uh, routine carom shot though. Looks like there's not that much room between the five and the nine. Really will depend on where you get for the position on the five nine carom. Tough to get to the other side of the three. She's trying to go with top spin, two rails around. I think she's done okay there. Might have a little bit more angle, but she could play with draw right or like just right spin, kill the cue ball off the rail. She's gonna play at two rails, get back in the middle of the table for the four ball in the bottom right corner. That's what I'm seeing. It's a little firm. A little too hard. So we'll go to play safety, I think. Don't see her taking on the carom on the nine. She's going to make the nine. She's going to combo the nine right here. But how is she well, going to get there's shaped? There's not so much room to yeah. make the combo. But I mean, if she does go for the combo, then the four and where the cue ball is going to go if the four doesn't like get out of that where the nine ball is then it will be she'll hook herself unless the well, four it, ball goes with, with in with that, the nine i think that's the same thing with either the combo and the carom it's really tough to get position on the four after unless she can go three rails around oh she caught that five ball first. It made a good shot on the nine. It's one more good shot though. It's far from over. Center ball, two rails. Yeah, she's overcut it. Mm -hmm. This is exactly the opportunity Slateva needed. Yeah, 
has done all the hard work, Bin Han, to then give a position like this to Christina Slateva. some angle on the six we'll have to play this with inside not a big fan of going two rails on a shot like this because then if you under hit it you don't end up with a shot on the eight and if you over hit it you're on the wrong side so inside spin yeah mm. that's usually a quite risky shot especially with the inside spin going for a cut like that gotta definitely compensate for the for the spin Whenever shooting a shot like that. Oh, she hit it uh, firm. Is it gonna stop? Is it gonna stop? It's oh, it's just She's good. just in time. She's well, good. well, this is also a very missable shot because she will have to play with the same inside spin we just referred to. It's either make the eight and leave a longer 10 ball or play with inside and get nice on the 10. One good shot. And, she's and got it's it. in. What a shot. Such a big shot. This is to get on the hill. And there it goes. Being hung. It's now up 3-0 just like the just second set. Yeah, the second set. Just like it. Yeah, so. and I think Christina Slateva got quite cold in her chair. She didn't really get to play much the last couple racks and mm -mm. lost the feel of the moment a little bit. But like I said, not that long ago, still very possible for her to like repeat the what happened the second set and come back from a 3 nothing deficit and make it hill hill and but instead of the outcomes that she had in the second set maybe she could pull it off well and win the third set be, oh actually hung, no she yeah shootout she, i yeah, forgot she, she guaranteed herself to get to a shootout if slateva would get on the run So four on the side and no shot on the one. He's going for a bank shot. Big shot in the side pocket right now. Yeah, this deciding set is for a $3,000 difference. So it's quite a jump in prize money. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm going to have to lift this with a little bit of speed, the draw back for the two ball. Oh, and she beautiful it. shot. Wow. Beautiful, very nice nicely shot. played by Bean Hung. I knew the bank would come in handy at some point. <laughs> She's looking really comfortable right now. Really comfortable. Well, the nerves will start to kick in. She's got all she's she got, got a good layout though. Well, all she has to do is just get on the seven and she got a seven ten combo right here. So it's just the main thing is getting from making this ball and getting from the five to the six. And then she's she's good. Yeah, roll this in, get around the spot. Yep. All she needs to do is just get on the seven ball and she's she's golden. 
She does get far on this six ball. I think she's still good though. All she needs to do is just come back out to where like the spot is and she'll be fine. Even if she has just a little bit of a cut on the seven, yeah, I think she'll still be fine. Still, she'll need to stun the, the six ball and the nerves are right here. Yeah, and there, there it goes. It goes. Yeah, she's called the 10 ball, and this is to get to the final and guarantee herself $7,000. Yeah, and there it goes. Bean Hung gets to the final. She's beaten Christina Sateva 2 1 in sets. Thank you all for watching. We'll be back at 4 p.m. with the final. This was Eric Roberts and myself, Tim De Ruiter, in the booth. Thank you all for watching, and hopefully see you guys later.